Hi, I'm the PC Expert Amateur, and we're going to take a look at an Evercool fan, the Silent Shark Fan SSF12, which they actually put on one of their coolers, and they probably regretted it, judging by the fact that I cannot find any information on the airflow or static pressure, even though they claim high air pressure because of the modifications they made to these blades. Now, when I look at this, I don't see a static pressure fan. I see an airflow fan. There's just so much space between these fan blades. And so these notches in the, the uh, blades and the, the uh, line sticking out of the backside of them just doesn't really impress me as being a move to make a big difference in terms of um, pressure. Even the notch at the top of the blade, way up here, doesn't really make a difference, I don't think. So I really don't know what is wrong, I guess you could say, other than to say that they are concealing the specs. They don't have it on their website anymore, and I couldn't find anywhere that had any more um, specs for it other than what's there, which is irritating. But hey, it just shows that it's a crap fan. But we'll test it out anyways, because... Not only does it have a sleeved cable with a three-pin connector, it has a two-speed toggle switch, regular and overclocking. Now, keep in mind, this is a fan that has a maximum speed of 1,400 RPMs. So how they're... I mean, this has got to be really old for them to call that overclocking. Okay, let's find out. At this point, given the lack of any real specs other than noise, which is fairly high, I cannot recommend this fan for anything, even though it's still available online in certain places. This is the slow one. Oh, do you hear that squeaking? Something is rubbing. Hold on. Hmm. Hear that? It's not even moving. <laughs> and it's squeaking. That's not encouraging. That's a lot of, of uh, friction. I think that's about as fast as it's going to go. And there is another noise. A rubbing noise, I guess. So let's speed it up. Actually, on the normal mode, it's very, very quiet, except for that, that uh, the noises from the physical friction or whatever. But let's put it on fast. Ooh. I think that's about as slow as I can get it to go there. Nice and quiet. Low pitch noise. turbulence wow this is a noisy fan that is not 26 decibels I don't think anyways so ignoring the normal mode we're just going to compare this 1400 RPMs to the 2000 RPMs of the Noctua what do you think is going to happen
Put it in the comments. Pause and put it in the comments. Go on. You can do it. The pitch of the Noctua is poking in there. And that's at maximum RPMs. And it's almost the same. Wow, these this is this is the ever lubricate bearing. <laughs> it stopped almost immediately. This is the worst that I've seen so far for bearings. Wow. No wonder you can't find much about this fan. It's junk. Yep, don't buy it. Do not buy it. But, you know, before I look at the data, I have to ask, as always, please like, subscribe, and share. I really need your help. Will you do that for me, please? I'm trying to help everybody. If you can just help me. Thank you so much. Let's look at the data. Okay, so the Evercool Silent Shark Fan SSF-12 or the end on the fans label it says EC12025M12EA. Um, and it's got shark gills to guide the wind and sawtooth blade edges, which are, and I quote, uh, let's see, oh, oh, hold on a second, I'm going to back up. Fan with sawtooth shaped veins creates high pressure air pressure and provides great cooling performance. Shark gills shaped wind guides generate an outstanding vortex airflow. Uh huh. Two functions for silent and overclocking. So it's not normal. Sorry about that. It's silent. And speed control make it convenient and affordable. To speed. That's marginal speed control. Thank you very much. It does, however, come with rubber, uh, they call it nails, <laughs> pins to mount the uh, the fan and a two-pin DC to two-pin Molex D adapter. So you can plug it in to the um, power supply so you can run at a constant speed. And yeah, um, wonderful. Yeah, at least you have options. But, you know, frankly, I don't think that this should be an option you should be looking at. Call me crazy. Yes, I know I am, but call me crazy. Um, right, so let's carry on here. <laughs> Sorry. Black and white, $9 fan, which I think is too much money for this fan then or now and it's got certifications from CEROHS Underwriter Laboratories E199144 and TUV it is made in China what a surprise it's so hard to find fans not made in China it um, who'd have thought that's sarcasm for those who don't recognize my sar sarcastic nature well, sometimes sarcastic nature. The dimensions are 120 by 25. It, based on what I've seen for the um, Ever Lubricate bearing, it'll give you 40,000 hours of life. Which, you know, if you're trying to promote a bearing, uh, I guess back in the days of yore, when I was still young and fan makers were not... Um, as greedy as they are now, 40,000 hours probably sh sounds like a good deal. I mean, unless you were paying attention to the fans out there that were actually really, really good, in which case you felt ripped off. <laughs> um, so 140 grams, seven blades, standard mounting hole distance, 800 to 1400 RPMs. And I believe that that is on the overclocking setting. I don't know what it is for the reg the silent mode, but it's probably really low. 15% variance. Don't have any idea about 
uh, the airflow or the static pressure. The volume range, which again, I assume is in the overclocking mode, is 19 to 26 decibels. The cable's 41 centimeters long, no daisy chaining. It's got a sleeve, three pin DC connector, and then the ever lubricate fan uh, bearing. 12 volts, 3.36 watts, 0.28 amps. It has indicators for direction of rotation and flow and it turns in a clockwise direction, comes with four rubber uh, mounting pins and a speed switch and the two pin adapter. So you can plug it into the power supply. That's all she wrote. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Please like, subscribe and share.